What's up guys? Welcome to this video and for today, we are gonna be watching a video by Zach Wilder. I will put his description or rather his channel on the description. And uh, we might be doing some Taglish guys, no? So I'll be speaking a lot in English. At the same time, some I mean sometimes I might be speaking in Tagalog, no? Para sa mga Pinoy, para sa mga Filipino. But uh, I wanna react to this in English just because... This is a discussion between the developers and the content creators. They had this uh, community, I don't know what they call it, but let's just call it a community meeting. Um, they talked about what, uh, wait, the title itself, Farlight84 Developer Update Why They Removed the Jetpack, um, Their Roadmap, and the Future of, of the Game This Year, 2024. Right now, we are live on bola.tv. You can search me in bola.tv Especially sa mga Pinoy guys, manood kayo dito Live ako everyday, 6pm Sa bola.tv if you wanna watch me live guys And do some reaction videos So nanonood din kami ng anime dito kasi pwede yun dito um, And also, we also play games Dito sa bola.tv But enough of that, so right now we're gonna be um, Listening and reacting To whatever Farlight 84's Plans are Towards their game uh, and why they removed the jetpack because that has been the most controversial uh, gaming news uh, this year. I'm actually excited for this, guys, because I, I want to know what their plans are. Because honestly, Farlight 84 is a great game, but again, they messed up. So let's see what they have for us. Let's go. So today we'll be talking about the jetpack. Wait, the volume is so low. Wait long. Slide, and we'll be covering okay. uh, the history of jetpack advantages and disadvantages of jetpacks and uh, what has changed after the jetpack okay and today our uh, host will be lazy Kaz. and of let's give the stage to lazy Kaz. hello okay. everyone um this is lazy Kaz, and uh yesterday uh really great to have all of you guys here right now um i have been reading through all the comments under your um, videos um from the community mm -hmm. and also your thoughts uh, some of you have already <clears throat> um, discussed or talked about um, your thoughts on um, the recent video that we released yesterday where we talked about uh, the problems, the new problems uh, uh, that, that, that arise after uh, the recent update mm -hmm. and the solutions that we are looking at um, to uh, develop as soon as possible um, and integrate into the game in the subsequent updates. And um, I mean, I mean, uh, it is absolutely right uh, that some of the comments uh, I read was about um, removing the jetpack brings instantly brings six problems. Yep. And I think uh, it's actually correct because yep. um, the jetpack has been an integral part of the core gameplay mechanic of Farlight 84 from the beginning. So, okay. So, yep. Uh, so, what Lazika said, they are reading through the comments, they are aware about what's happening they know and they actually in uh, acknowledge that removing the jetpack resulted in having six major problems with the game so yep okay um i figured um today i wanted to uh, cover the history of the jetpack um during the development of farla 84 mm -hmm. um, to first of all give everyone um uh, kind of like an exclusive context as to how the jetpack, uh, how it all started with the jetpack, and then mm -hmm. why we have, why right now we have to, you know, start making changes to this core element of, of the game. Mm -hmm. um, so let's start with the history of the jetpack. Um, uh, so many years ago, when we started uh, the project uh, of Farla eighty four, um, it was it was actually us. Uh, a PVE, PVE game oh. in uh, in the first place. It was actually a sandbox single player title oh. um, that we were uh, uh, that I we started that. Uh, with Farla eighty four. So Mendoza. it was not uh, planned to be a PVP um, battle royale title uh, at the beginning. Um, okay. And so in a single player PVE title, uh, like some of the games, I I'm not sure if you have played uh, some of the single player um, uh, shooter titles like Borderlands. Um, mm -hmm. Um, and Destiny and things like that. There, there are um, a lot of um, single player um, or you know half single player, half multiplayer um, shooter games. And in 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 a single player experience, um, the main character can have very unique abilities. And 
and and there's no there there's not really a uh, a boundary where you can you can make the character do within the game because there's okay well let me guess their main character in their single player was Magi. <laughs> I might be right about that. It's not someone else because um, they in love the game that Magi. is competing against you apart from the monsters yeah. um, that PvE, are yep. as levels um, in a single player game. So um, when we were working on Farah 84 um, many years ago, um, uh, the jetpack became a very intriguing concept to be integrated um, into the experience. Um, and it was really uh, impressive. Well, but when we uh, 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 when we moved on uh, to become a PvP title uh, and a Battle Royale title, Battle Royale. which was different from the very beginning concept uh, of the game, uh, we retained the uh, design of the jetpack uh, because it was kind of like uh, what we started uh, to build uh, at the very beginning. Okay. Uh, there, it's a whole different conversation. Um, it's it's kind of like a, a very intriguing conversation, especially with Overwatch um, in recent years, um, when it comes to, you know, uh, getting a PvP experience and a PvE experience. Um, but, you know, um, at, at the end of the day, the PvP experience that we are uh, that we are building right now uh, with Fire 84 um, is a core experience. And the Battle Royale um, uh, genre is what Fire 84 Kind of gradually uh, formed into shape. Okay. Um, so, so that's kind of like context of uh, of the jetpack. Um, now, there are several advantages and disadvantages when it comes to jetpack as a core gameplay design. <clears throat> as we uh, moved from a single player experience to a PvP battle yep, royale experience. Definitely. Yep. Um, so, when we talk about a battle royale uh, live service um, live operations game. Uh, we have to continue to update the game um, uh, for the better uh, over a long period of time. Yeah, uh, of, of course. course. We we want we wanted the game to be in service. Well, Apex Legends they they are they just announced uh, their fifth anniversary. Okay, so I want to make sure that everyone's aware. They mentioned Apex Legends. Okay, and I think. I'm not sure, but I think they're gonna be referencing Apex Legends a lot, or especially other games. But I think most of the time, Apex Legends. We do want our game to be able to to run for years to come. Yeah. Uh, so there are. Uh, let's talk about Business. the advantages and disadvantages of the jetpack as a core uh, gameplay design. Right. Um, we'll, we'll cover it from both a developer's perspective and a player's perspective. I think uh, sometimes um, there. Uh, uh, there, there could be, uh, you know, uh, conflicts between, you know, what, what, a, as a player, what we want, and as a developer, what we have to do. So uh, let's talk about the, the advantages and disadvantages. Um, the first one, the advantage. It's very obvious um, that allowing everyone in the game to perform high impact, impressive moves, um, it creates a lot of imaginable um, possibilities to reach. For example. Uh, you just reach the rooftops in one go. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to mm -hmm. ha spend any effort um, in moving towards a rooftop and execute. You, you know, uh, when you look at IC's video, for example, the mm -hmm. the shooting, the combat um, uh, dynamics that he he was playing with in his videos mm -hmm. is just crazy, right? Uh, you can imagine a lot of possibilities what you can do with the moves. Mm -hmm. uh, you you can have a very unique. Uh, you know, moving style. Um, you can develop your own, you know, play style around the jetpack in general. And it's it it the the design uh, is where Farla eighty four um, started to gain attraction and praise uh, from players when we launched uh, uh -huh. globally launched last year. Um, it was in beta uh, for for uh, uh, before uh, last year, but um, when the game globally launched uh, last year, it was what uh, a lot of player got got the attention of a lot of players. Yeah. Um, okay. All and right. Then, and then there, this advantage is just very obvious, right? Right, right. Okay. Um, again, they are aware, guys. Uh, of course, they're the developers. They're the ones who collect the data. Alam nila na uh, yun talaga yung advantages ng jetpack. And then they also know that the jetpack is what attracted a lot of people, right? A lot, a lot of people. Jetpack is what really is the like the highlight the shining 
um, moments of the game. You know, when you get to outplay your enemy using the jetpack, like things are like extremely fast, and you feel this uh, adrenaline rush um, during clashes, right? So that's good. The question is, since they know the advantages. And we're gonna talk about the disadvantages, right? How are they gonna respond to this, right? Uh, it's very unique. It's very interesting. It can be um, uh, imaginative. But let's talk about the disadvantages as well. Um, we are gonna cover the disadvantage from um, two different perspectives. The first one is the countering with a jetpack um, as a core gameplay design, which means a universal um, movement ability. Everyone uh, has it. Every hero has it, every player in the game has it. The countering system is flawed. Uh, what does it mean? Yep. So when, try, uh, when trying to design heroes, we, uh, we need to, uh, you know, we need to create a system where different heroes or different players, they can counter against each other. How, huh? How is the countering system blocked? When in the first place, it is a universal skill. Like, everyone has it. If your enemy is gonna use your, their jetpack, then you can also use your jetpack. I mean, if we're gonna talk about balancing the game, it's all about the skills, not the jetpack. Because you have a universal skill, like just what, like, um, Lazy Cass said, diba? Universal na nga yun. So everybody can use the, that, right? Pwede mo yung i-counter, pwede mo i-counter play. Kasi pag mag jetpack yung kalaban mo, you can also use your jetpack. Pwede ka din mag jetpack. So yung skills yung kailangan nila i-balance na may counter, hindi yung jetpack. That's as of now my understanding of what he's saying. Um it's a it's a back and forth dynamic that Wait. can counter against each other. Um it's a it's a back and forth dynamic that a game has to have. Um, in order for all of the games, uh, for each you know each match, um, to be dynamic and interesting and uh, diverse over time. So what we observed uh, when it when it comes to this is that the jetpack became a universal solution to all situations that you get, uh, yeah, all negative course. situations that you encounter, including um, a weapon uh, that shoots at you suddenly or skills that, uh, that is applied to you suddenly, all of a sudden. You yeah. just need to use a jetpack, um, jump around, and you get out of a situation instantly in no time. And that is that, that makes the countermeasure um, uh, as a core gameplay design flawed in a way that a lot of the skills are just not uh, useful. Oh, in a way that you sure, um, uh, as a core gameplay design flawed. In a Lod? What's that word? Lod? Anong, ano yun? Way that a lot of the skills are just not uh, useful. And a lot of the weapons, they're, they have to be, uh, we mentioned in a special announcement in the past, um, the, the weapons, they all have to be balanced to a point where they all look very similar and they all play very similarly because you will have, because all the weapons will have to be balanced according to uh, the movements of the jetpack. So. Yeah. Uh, this means that um, whether it be gunplay, whether it be hero skills, the diversity of the design is very limited. Uh, um, hmm. Okay. I want to go back to what he said. Dito, sa part na to. Flawed in a way of time. So what we observed uh, when, it, when it comes to this is that the jetpack became a universal solution to all situations that you get yeah. uh, all negative situations that you encounter including um, a weapon uh, that shoots at you suddenly or yan yung tinatawag natin na outplay like it just makes sense na lahat nga it's universal skill okay all right now he talked about disadvantages right sinabi niya he said that the jetpack can be used to just get out of a situation right away, right? When an enemy uses a skill, you can get out right away. And of course, that's how it's gonna work because that's what the players um, love about the game, right? Yun yung nagustuhan ng mga players. Like, 
if you are like in a tight situation kung nahihirapan ka sa clash, then you can just escape right away using the jetpack with the cooldown. So, meron kang cooldown, yun yung out, yun yung ano doon iisipin mo. And the enemy can also um chase you with their jetpack. Gets you? Like I don't understand why they're saying that this is a problem because again, it's universal. So if it's universal, like if if everyone has the jetpack, then I, I I don't see it as a an imbalance part of the game. So you guys, or skill. I I don't get the the analogy behind this, honestly. But let's just listen more. Kung ano yung sasabihin nila. Uh, this means that um, whether it be gunplay, whether it be hero skills, the diversity of the design is very limited. Uh, we're we're going to cover that uh, in uh, in the next session and talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. Um, the second problem or disadvantage of the jetpack as a core gameplay mechanic is that extreme speed excludes general players who like different play styles. So, uh, wait, the... wait, wait, what? Extreme speed excludes general players who like different play styles. So, extreme speed excludes general players who lacks different play styles. Extre I mean, first of all, extreme speed is what Firelight 84 is what attracted most people to play Firelight 84. So they are technically saying that they do don't want the game to have extreme speed. You know, that's just that's just moving backward, man. They are ignoring the fact that people love extreme speed. Okay, let's continue. So, uh, there, if you are familiar uh, with uh, games like Overwatch, they have a they have a very clear class of heroes called flanks, and okay. flanks are heroes that are that have very extreme speeds. They they move very fast, they okay. move quite quickly, and they can approach enemies um, in ve a very short period of time. And these uh -huh. uh, this type of heroes, they are usually very high skill cap heroes. Uh, that uh -huh. means these heroes uh, or these uh, skills um, or abilities, they require a lot of training when using them mm -hmm. uh, or to master them. So uh, the, the extreme speed involved in jetpacks, um, uh, that, that's kind of like a, uh, the other side of the coin when we talk about, oh, we can perform some high impact, impressive moves or imaginative moves uh, with the jetpack. But on the other hand, uh, not all players, um, uh, well, in in the world uh, where we where we see like millions of players who play um, shooter games or um, mobile games or PC games, they all like different play styles. And the jetpack kind of forced everyone into a play style that is very flanky, um, and it's 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 just not um, the thing that all players would love. So um, this this kind of limited uh, the player base. Um, uh, for newcomers uh, who just, you know, enter the game, they could easily feel lost when, you know, they can't, they just don't like the speed and the high mobility intense combat, so. Oh, okay, now it makes sense. So what they're saying is that, <laughs> in summary about extreme speed, is they're talking about like a lot of newcomers into the game that is not enjoying the game because of the extreme speed. Well, I mean, how can you enjoy the game as a new player when you like play the game and then right after about three matches, you're right around bronze, silver, I don't know what rank, and then you're up against ace player, like, Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, guys. Yep. That makes sense. Tama, di ba? Jetpack is the problem, guys. Jetpack is the problem. It's because extreme speed equals to um, silver versus ace player for new players. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, bro. 
are they like I don't know guys hindi ko alam I I I don't think they are not aware about the matchmaking I I don't know if they are not aware because they have data they can look through the data if the data does not tell that problem about matchmaking then I don't know <laughs> maybe they're not playing their game it, this is this right now is telling me that Farlight 84 does not know their game that they're not playing their game because the ultimate problem when when playing the game especially when I was playing the game it was about it, it was about the matchmaking man it was not about the jetpack new players are not enjoying the game because they were up against really skilled players. Hindi yun about sa jetpack, bro. Hindi talaga siya about sa jetpack. Now, ito guys, ito din yung na-analyze ko. Okay, if you're gonna talk about extreme speed, and this is this is my perspective or comment before about the esports of the F FPC ba yun? Right? The, every tournament that I watch in Farlight 84, every esports tournament that I watch, like, it's just so fast, guys. And then there's a lot of skills. Like, imagine four heroes using a lot of skills with all jetpacks moving around. And I think, sa point of view na yun, at that point of view, if you're gonna look at it that way, it makes sense if they nerf the jetpack, but again, not remove the jetpack because it is a core mechanic of the game. Because guys, imagine a game that has been loved by a lot of players since release last year, April last year. Ilang months yun? I don't know, nine months up until now? Imagine, the core gameplay is the jetpack. What people, what made people play the game was the jetpack and then they removed that? Damn. Now, again, if their main concern is about the extreme speed, and I understand, no? I get I get the point of having extreme speed and very um or having the the difficulty to outplay your opponent and um overwhelmed by the speed of the opponent. But again, if the matchmaking is just fixed, then if you're a bronze player going against a new player, a bronze player, then yeah, you do, you're not going to have um that overwhelming uh feeling right as a new player because your enemy is also a new player para lang kayong bago eh so kung mag jetpack jetpack yung kalaban mo you can also do that ba you both have the jetpack that's the that's the that's a great thing about the jetpack cuz it's universal you both have the jetpack you can do the outplays with the jetpack and man they them talking about Overwatch and about the flankers in Overwatch and the flankers having uh requiring the high skill um gameplay or high skill gap. I'm starting to think that they are moving towards a direction uh, they want this to become um Apex Legends because looking at the design of the Overwatch gameplay the characters have certain roles. Like in Overwatch, you have a healer, you have a tank, and you have the DP DPS. And I'm starting to think that they are going towards this direction, but in a battle royale setup, that they want to to make sure that there are certain characters that has these roles. And you know what? Guess what? Think of one battle royale that has that design. It's Apex Legends. Apex Legends has roles. Apex Legends is a battle royale. Apex Legends has slide. And they are putting jet slide. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell, tell me if I'm wrong by promise. Tell me if I'm wrong. Yes, their character designs are different. But the whole concept is going towards, leaning towards the Apex Legends design. There's even a lot of uh, buildings in the game that's like, the Apex Legends model already, I man, in Sunder Realms. And um, they haven't told us that they're not bringing the jetpack back. As far as the discussion that I'm hearing right now, or what LazyCast is saying right now, I am thinking that the jetpack is never go gonna come back. Ito yung naririnig ko sa kanya, man. Because they, they are not mentioning anything about the jetpack that's coming back. They are 
they are um it, you know they are talking about the history of the jetpack now they are telling us the disadvantage and advantage of the jetpack and telling us to to change our mind about the jetpack removal and to embrace the new firelight 84 which is the ultimate goal for a developer right but for me personally and for a lot of people it's gonna be very hard to accept the fact that what you love about a game is gone and you just have to move on and embrace whatever is left whatever is uh, changed so yun yun at napakahirap niyan guys napakahirap niyan it's gonna take you a while to actually adjust but you have the the good mindset or if you have the mindset of a player that will adjust to whatever a developer's uh, goal ultimate goal or like um how do you call that uh the long term goal of the developer then you can stay but that's not the mindset especially of an OG player who fell in love with the jetpack so that's really that's really the uh, the issue here. Um, this this kind of limited uh, the player base um, uh, for newcomers uh, who just you know entered the game. They could easily feel lost when you know they can't. They just don't like the speed and the high mobility, intense combat. So uh, some of them may prefer strategy. Some of them may prefer coordinating with teammates. Um, so these are these are different play styles that are kind of forced. Um, out of place uh, when it comes to uh, the uh, design of Jetpack as a core gameplay mechanic. So um, uh, that's uh, these are the advantages and disadvantages um, when we you know uh, think about Jetpack as a core gameplay design of Farda 84 um, in the first place. And um, so next, I think uh, we want we want to cover. Um, what's what's going to change after uh, you know uh, the update and after uh, you know the the changes of the jetpack design? I think from um, the developer's perspective, we do wish that um, the lowering you know or or not making the jetpack a universal uh, movement ability um, could allow us to design unique abilities. Um, and from the player's perspective, we want the counterplay system to be in place. So that you know each match um, is more interesting um, and more uh, it's just more dynamic um, in each match uh, and for a long period of time. And so uh, we are going to talk about um, the new design from three different perspectives, um, uh, with a jetpack not being a universal ability anymore. So um, the first of all, uh, the first. All right. So I guess that's it, guys. I guess they he did say. We're going to talk about the design and then the jetpack not being a universal movement anymore. So I guess that's it. That confirms it, right? So I think that confirms it. They're not going to bring the jetpack back as a universal movement. I mean, some of them as jetpack, but not, not the same as before. So it's pretty clear, guys, that they are really changing Farlight. They are changing the meta. They are changing... Um, the design, they are changing the feel of the game. They are going to be Apex 84. <laughs> Joke lang. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, yeah, it, it, it really feels like an Apex design to me, guys, personally, in my opinion. And I, I don't know how players would take this, honestly. I don't know how they would um, embrace the new Farlight. I don't know. But if we're gonna look at this long term, if you're gonna look at this on an esports type of a, of a point of view, I think it works better. The reason why I'm saying that is because when Apex came out, and how old is Apex now? Apex is still up in the market, right? Apex is still a good game. And I think that's what they're looking for. They're looking for... Uh, they're looking forward to a, a long term, right? Of course, it's business, right? So the design that they had with the jetpack, uh, they did not feel like it was a long term type of a design. Mm -hmm. And they want to welcome more players into the game. And by doing the change, they think that they are going to be able to welcome more players compared to before 
when players were overwhel overwhelmed with the jetpack's super speed or uh, fast speed. So they're leaning towards a design where um, there is going to be roles in each character, which there is already roles in, in, in the characters. And then the teamwork is there. Um, there's a flanker, a high movement character for each team. Uh, there's a support, you know, something like that, like a, like what they said about Overwatch. So basically, it's like an Overwatch battle royale, is what they're saying, and they want that to be to be the core gameplay mechanic of the game. And yet, they are oh, they are also listening to the community by adding the jet slide, which, by the way, it's already in other games. <coughs> Um, that again is not gonna come. It's not gonna return the the universal jetpack. Um, but first of all, uh, the first one um is to offer a diversity in playstyle. So as I mentioned, um, jetpack is in in other games. If if you can uh, uh you can name all of the other uh, other games, uh, the jetpack is mostly a blank uh, playstyle um in in uh, other genres or games. Um, so. Uh, without jetpack being a universal ability, meaning only some of the heroes have jetpack or only some of the heroes have extremely high uh, mobility, uh, we will be able to open up um, the uh, open up the design for you know more different play styles. Uh, for example, um, in the new in the new update, you can see the Watchmen and Bo. They have very completely different and interesting play style now. So, for example, Watchmen. Uh, Watchmen is now a very thoughtful uh, play style. Uh, you, you will have to plan your move very intensely uh, throughout the match. You have to think about uh, what, what to do with uh, the tactical abilities and the ultimate abilities, the timing of these abilities um, uh, very well and coordinate with your with your teammates. So Watchmen has a very um, unique play style right now, thoughtful play style. And Bo, he actually became a little bit OP with his ultimate right now um, mm -hmm. because in the past, um, if if there's an ultimate like what what Bo has right now in the game, people can just uh, jump out of the uh, jump out of the ultimate and get rid of the situation with the jetpack. But right now, because the jetpack is not in place for um, many of the heroes anymore, um, they cannot get out of the situation immediately, and that yeah. kind of um, help these abilities shine in some situations um, that were not possible before. Um, the second one. Uh, we were talking about uh, getting so the removal so he's saying that the removal of the jetpack helped these abilities to shine right now compared than before when players can just dodge the skills so they removed the jetpack and they added bow's ultimate which is really hard to dodge and they're happy about that design what Huh? Um, the second one, uh, we were talking about uh, getting more different play styles uh, for different types of players. Um, and then, but there, there's the type of players who really like to flank. Um, and that's, uh, that's where we also need to think of a new, um, new solutions um, to cater for, uh, you know, uh, extremely high speed play styles. And I think uh, this is where we were, uh, we were, we were talking about uh, when uh, when there will be new heroes using the jetpack uh, as their abilities as part of their ability design. Um, I think uh, in in the in the recent update, Maggie and Duckside, um, they are the two heroes that uh, kind of represent the style where they can, they can flank and move very quickly, um, and their play style kind of uh, revolve around speed mobility. Uh, Maggie obviously has a classic style, um, and Duckside, it, he's actually, he actually has a very interesting type of new movement um, now compared to before. Um, so uh, these are examples where uh, we can explore a lot more different types of flank play styles um, that will be in place uh, moving forward in, in the future updates uh, when we introduce more technical abilities uh, uh, to the heroes. And uh, Lastly, um, it also enables a lot more interesting hero combos. Um, uh, for example, uh, with all of the new skills, you can see like Bo and Duckside. Bo can actually put the C3 bomb on Duckside, and Duckside can just roll towards the enemy. And that's a completely new dynamic 
um, uh, of hero combos. And with Watchman and Maggie, for example, you can um, you can use Watchman's abilities to find um, the uh, uh, to find the enemies, and then you can have Maggie to go in and uh, you know uh, combo and get the enemies killed. Um, so these are all hero combos that um, you know require more team coordination than the past. Uh, because when you when in the past when you can get out of any situations um, in any time, you don't really need a lot of coordination with your team members. Um, but when you know when there are limitations uh, in place for each different heroes because of their unique playstyle, then you will have to you know think about think more about okay, I have this limitation. I ha what I have to do. What do I need to do to uh, you know um, uh, get get for example get closer to my teammates should i um or should i you know not uh go solo or so yeah i think in summary guys so far of uh, you know what i heard from lazy cuz i think what is the, what they're trying to say is that they want the game to feel more tactical rather than just rushing and then jetpacking all around you know and I think that makes sense, especially for again esports, and for long term, that makes sense. Cause that that formula works for a lot of games. When you make plays together with your team, um, you know, and push the enemy team using tactical skills. Cause that's what heroes are all about. It's all about using your skills thinking about how to use your skills with your team and then of course that the aiming the shooting mechanics is already there that's already a given for a shooting game um so yeah i think it makes sense it does make sense but again <laughs> honestly they should have made a new game honestly <laughs> they should have made a new game why do this to farlight man <laughs> uh it's again guys it, it's so difficult to accept that the game that you love is changing a lot like the design is changing a lot so difficult to accept but if you are gonna look at this on the devs perspective according to what lazy cast is trying to explain on what their goal is for farlight you can start to understand why and it's up to you if you want to continue playing or not. If you like what their plan is or not. Diba? It's all about that. If you don't, if, you, if you're not happy with it, if you really want the jetpack and now it's gone and you're ju you just find the game boring and slow because that's how I felt when I played the 2.0 update. Then I suggest you stop playing the game. You know, take a rest. And maybe wait if, if they do something about the game that can make it fun again. But again, no jetpack. I think that's it, man. Or lone wolf all the time, and you know, uh, these are all dynamics that um, uh, happen when, when you know this limitation. I ha what I have to do. What do I need to do to uh, you know um, uh, get get for example get closer to my teammates? Should I um, or should I you know not uh, go solo or lone wolf all the time? And you know, uh, these are all dynamics that um, uh, happen when you know there is not a universally high mobility um, uh, ability in place. And uh, so oh, these nice. are kind of like the thoughts that we would like to share um, in this meeting. And uh, I know I know you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer all of the questions that you have. Um, some of the questions may be, you know, out of um, the understanding that uh, that I have right now or out of uh, you know, what, what I am able to answer you, but um, I think it, it would be a great time for us to open the floor um, and get some questions. Okay. Yeah. And All right. All right. So at this point, they are opening the floor to some of the creators, guys. Now for this video, um, I'm going to stop here for the video. Uh, mainly because I don't want this video to the video is already at 46 minutes right now in the recording so I, I don't want the video to be uh, very long you know on YouTube 
So also to sa so mga Pinoy players guys, uh, pasensya na if nag english ako ngayon kasi gusto ko lang maintindihan ng ibang uh, mga lingwahe din yung sinasabi ko. Right? I hope you understand sa mga Pinoy. Pwede, pwede pa rin kayo mag-comment sa ng Pinoy or Filipino. You know, it's always nagbabasa tayo ng mga comments and I'll react to the comments as well guys. Yeah guys, so in summary, they're not bringing the jetpack. They want people to embrace the new change and to understand that what they want is the game to be more tactical and to be more of a teamwork based of a game. Not just jetpacking all around, you know. Um... But again, to me, what I feel about this update, para sa akin, I still think this is a wrong move in removing the jetpack. Because right now, you can see that the, the players are just quitting. The players stop playing na. Um, I think the best move could have been to nerf the jetpack first. And then slowly but surely, let people know that the skills are changing. Right? Because I think what they could have done better if they really want this change with a 2.0 update they could have gotten everything ready first alam mo yun dapat ni ready nila lahat they could have like eh, they could have like um prepared everything before putting in the 2.0 update because right now there's a lot of things that's lacking and there's a lot of problems that's occurring into the game because the, the, the 2.0 update is not 100% complete. Right? So, so yeah, I guess that's it, guys. That's coming from me. I don't know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to comment, guys. Don't forget to comment and tell me what your thoughts are about this. I'm sorry if this is like a 15-minute reaction video. Um, I just want to make sure that I cover whatever they're discussing about the jetpack. Ah, excuse me. And if you wanna, if you wanna watch the whole one hour plus um, discussion of this, I will put the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to Zach Wilder. He is a YouTuber, a content creator for Farlight Eighty Four, guys. I will put his channel in the description below as well. And yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Take care and enjoy your games, gamers.